Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be all about old US minted silver coins and the actual silver weight these various coins contain, assuming they're in good condition. I want my subscribers to be armed with this knowledge in case of a hyperinflation situation or monetary reset environment where people might actually be exchanging these coins for goods or services. Pre-1965 dimes, quarters, half dollars, and dollars are all 90% silver and are oftentimes referred to as constitutional silver or junk silver. Nothing in this video is financial advice. I would like to start out by introducing these coins in the order of silver weight they contain, going from lightest to heaviest. The war nickels were minted during World War II from October of 1942 through 1945. They have 0.56 ounces of silver. The price over spot on these is usually low, but because they are only 35% silver, they take up a lot of space compared to other coins when considering them for stacking. These coins are a little tricky because prior to October in 1942, they had no silver. You can tell which 1942s are silver by the mint mark. The silver 1942s will have a P or S mint mark. The 90% silver dimes have 0 0.072 ounces of silver in them. In general, I do recommend the mercury dimes. They're typically a little less worn out than the barber dimes. And I do have an example of a barber dime here for you today as well. The Roosevelt dimes were also 90% silver between 1946 and 1964. Now a common misconception with these coins is that they are one tenth of an ounce of silver. So just keep in mind that there are a little over 25% less than that at 0 0.072 ounces per silver dime. The 40% silver Kennedy half dollars were minted between 1965 and 1969, and they are the only coins I'll be discussing in today's video that were minted after 1964. They have 0.147 ounces of silver per coin. These coins are also 60% copper and typically have very slight wear. These coins are oftentimes the lowest price you can find over spot for a U.S. minted silver coin. The 90% silver quarters have 0.18 ounces of silver in each coin. I do recommend the Washington quarters if you are considering stacking them because they are usually a lot less worn out than the standing Liberty quarters. Although the standing Liberty quarters do have a very cool design, sometimes people think these are a quarter of an ounce, but they are just shy of one fifth of an ounce in actual silver weight, and their total weight is about one fifth of an ounce. The 90% silver half dollars have 0.361 ounces of silver in each coin. The Walking Liberty halves are probably the most popular constitutional silver that you can find. I would not recommend the Barber half dollars because they are usually very worn out. The Franklin halves are sometimes called Benji's and they are a good option because they are usually in pretty good condition, uh, not as worn out as the walkers are. Kennedy also appeared on the 90% silver half dollar for one year in 1964. The US silver dollars usually carry too high of a premium for them to be considered when stacking. Their total silver weight is 0.773 ounces so far less than one ounce. And oftentimes you will have to pay more for one of these coins than you will for a one ounce silver round. These Morgan silver dollars were minted between 1878 and 1921, followed by the peace silver dollars, which usually are not as worn out as these coins. Once again, I do not recommend stacking US silver dollars because the premiums are just too high. I have videos out on the Walking Liberty halves as well as the Franklin half dollars. If you would like some more information about those coins, I will leave links to those videos in the description of this video. 
and I will release videos on all of these various coins over time. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.